All right, let's try this again. Facebook Live does not like the fist pump guy for some reason. Every morning, I have an issue with Facebook Live. Yesterday, it froze up on me. Before I even got started, I had to restart my phone. Today, I had to restart my phone. So y'all come on back in here. I'm sorry I had to delete that one out. I'm starting over. So y'all come on in. If you've heard this first part, then don't worry about it. You'll catch on. Yesterday's video, if you didn't catch it, as I said, was about loud mufflers. And uh, sorry, man, uh, my, my video, Facebook Live, doesn't like me for some reason. Um, Jeffrey, Craig, y'all come on back in. Uh, if you didn't check yesterday's video out, it's about loud mufflers. It's really about people that talk loud that have nothing to say. Mark Weiss, come on in, man. So, today's video, I'll get right into it. Are you one of the ones, what's up Dave Clayton, my friend, how you doing? Y'all come on in and join me real quick. Are you one of the ones like myself that like to flip channels? Uh, you like to scroll through Facebook? Are you those people? Because oftentimes we get up in the morning, first thing we do, good morning Addison, glad to have you on Brian Olson, Alinda, y'all come on in. I might have to get out from underneath this tent because I think it's messing up my reception. Uh, even though it keeps the light off my head. But I was thinking about this this morning. Um, every day, I think most of us are the same. The first thing we do is we get up and we grab our phone. We start scrolling through Facebook. Or we turn the TV on and we try to find something to watch. Most of the time, you know, if I do watch TV in the morning at Sports Center. But when I was a kid, and some of y'all can relate to this because y'all closer to my age. When I was a kid, I was the remote control right so if the tv needed turning gary go over there and change the channel hold the antenna whatever the case would be so you flip through channels till you find something right well as i got older that's what i did i flipped through channels um yeah i flipped through channels right um to find something to watch well i would just keep flipping through channels i wouldn't even give it time to tell me or let me see what it was before i'm flipping channels so if there was somebody there watching tv with me they were getting kind of frustrated, okay? Um, still happens today. The difference today is, is when you got direct TV or something, you can just click on guide and you can look through stations before you actually put them on. But if I'm not interested in it, guess what I do? I flip right through it. I go to another channel or whatever. And with 100 or 200, 300 stations, whatever we have, there's never anything to watch. So if there was something decent to watch, I probably missed it, all right? So Facebook. We get up and look at Facebook, we scroll through. Why do we scroll through so much on Facebook? Because whatever we see, yeah, Fist Pump Station would be nice. Uh, there is a YouTube channel called The Fist Pump Guys, so that, that's the same thing. Um, which all this stuff, I haven't got on there yet. But through Facebook, if it's not interesting to us, we just scroll right on past it, right? Um, we just, it, it could be the same old thing. We think there's the same old thing on Facebook, people sharing the same stuff. So a lot of times, if it doesn't grab our attention, like a quick video or something like that, we don't even click on it. We just scroll right past it, all right? So you may be asking where I'm going with this, but you know, I like to do analogies. So I'm using this as an analogy. What's up, Kevin? Much like what we do when we flip through the channels and we could miss a good show, uh, or miss a good message. We scroll through Facebook, we can miss a good show, or miss a good message, miss, some, uh, miss something that's uplifting or positive or something like that. We do the same thing in life, okay? I'm guilty of it. I struggle with it every single day because, and here's why, we get up doing the same thing every day. We stick on that routine and we get so busy with life, we just scroll right on past life, right? We get up, Say hello to the wife and kids, get ready for work, go to work, work all day, come home, go to bed. It's more of a routine thing. So a lot of times what happens is instead of us stopping to enjoy what we have, it gets mundane to us and it gets so repetitive that we just scroll right on past it. I'm guilty of it and I, I do it every single day and I struggle with it. And that's, I guess that's what made me think of it today. So... My point is, especially if you're in the car business, it could be any profession. We dedicate so much time to our jobs, to our professions, whatever it is, that we forget and we don't appreciate the stuff that we have every single day, okay? Because tomorrow's not, tomorrow's not guaranteed. 
You know, I could not even make it home tonight. And what have I looked, if I look back right now, how many times, how many, uh, exactly, you got, you got to take that time, man. You got to take that time and enjoy your family because you may, you may lose somebody, right? Um, you may lose somebody or in your family or a close friend and you never really stopped and enjoyed that. We just take it for granted. I do it every single day. You know, I, I take my family for granted. I take my friends for granted. And that's something that, that's a fault of mine. That's a fault of mine because I get so focused on my job and things that I need to do in life. So it does take a lot of discipline. I mean, it's okay to have routines and stuff. Exactly. You got to, because that's the only time you're living in, Mark. You can't, you can't live in the past. You really can't live in the future. You're only living in the present. So what are you doing with it? Are you just going through life, scrolling through it with your thumb, like you do on Facebook? Are you just scrolling through it? Or are you taking time to stop for a minute and catch those good stories? Are you, are you like on Facebook, when you see a good story, a lot of times you'll sit there and read it or listen to a video and actually enjoy that and get something out of that, right? But a lot of times we get so repetitive and so mundane and in a routine that we, we lose track of, we lose track of our family. We lose track of things that are going on outside of our lives. And, uh, it could, it could hurt. It could hurt you. It could hurt your family. So today as you go out, think about this because I'm guilty of it. I, I'm the first to admit, I'll be the first to admit this is something I need to work on. And I guess that's what made me think of it today. Uh, and then I, I, after I'd already written this, I, I watched, uh, uh, I watched Jeffrey Parton's uh, video on uh, friends, friendships, and what is friendships? I, it's been a long time since I had really, really, really good friends, okay? Um, and it's hard sometimes in life to stop and enjoy that because you get so busy. You get so busy. And much like Facebook, exactly right, Mark, we tend to scroll right through it. Why? Because it's the same old stuff. Just like on Facebook, if you've seen the same old stuff all the time, you're going to scroll past it because you already know what it's being, what's being said, what's being shared. So that's what I'm talking about today. I don't care what profession you're in, what business you're in, don't scroll through life and miss the good stuff. Don't scroll through life and miss the opportunities to share with somebody, to care for somebody, to love somebody. I don't care if it's a family or a friend. Don't scroll right past it and take take it for granted because tomorrow's not guaranteed to us. And if today is all you had, today's the last day you were live, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to spend all day worrying about your job or are you going to really spend the, the the time that you need dedicated to the things that really matter and that are going to be uh lifelong uh relationships? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because most people realistically um, they don't spend 30, 40 years on jobs anymore, right? But guess what? There are some marriages that last 30, 40, 50 years. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if that marriage is, what's up, Sean Hayes? If that marriage is what's going to be your longest lasting, um, opportunity or relationship, wouldn't it make more sense to dedicate more time to that and to your kids and to your family? You understand what I'm saying? So today as you go out, Think about that, and I know I've said that one time, so I'm starting to mumble, but think about that today. Are you one that actually stops and enjoys what you have and appreciates what you've been given and blessed with? Or are you like a lot of us that just tend to scroll on by life? You scroll on by life. We get so caught up and worrying about what other people think, uh, what they expect of us, and though I want to perform well, Though I want to do well at my job, am I doing a better job at my job than I am at home? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is there, is, there, is there something that I do better at work than I do in my own life it, with my family? That's something you got to ask yourself. That's something I have to reflect on myself for too. So go out today. Stop scrolling through life like you scroll through Facebook. Stop, stop flipping through channels like you do the TV. You got something good in front of you, enjoy it, spend time with it, uh, appreciate it, because there may come a point in time, and maybe sooner than you expect, where you can't. And then you look back and say, man, I wish I would have. 
I wish I'd have spent more time. I wish I would have dedicated more time. Those kind of things will come back and you will think about that. Okay. So start today. Like I said, you know, when I do videos, it's not necessarily about selling cars or anything like that. Y'all know where I work. I don't have to tell you where I work. If you don't know where I work, then go to my page. You'll figure it out. But at the end of the day, appreciate what you have because you may not have it tomorrow. Okay. What if you lost your job tomorrow? What are you going to do then? You see what I'm saying? Take time to appreciate those things that you have every day and love them. Spend time with them because you never know when that time's going to be over. I hope this has helped somebody today. Y'all go out today, love somebody, love your family, love your friends, um, help somebody around you, be servant minded and uh, learn to appreciate, learn to appreciate what you have and stop scrolling through life like you, th like you scroll through Facebook. This is the fist pump guy selling cars the right way because it's the only way I know. Follow the fist pumped enterprise.